If you didn't already know, you can actually do your FIFA career mode as an existing player. All you have to do is start off a new player career mode and then go into it with the player you want to be manager, press retire, and you'll get offered a selection of clubs that are usually about one or two stars below the level of club that you retired at. For example, you retire at a five star team, your offers will be four or three and a half stars. So that gives you a good idea of the kind of clubs that each player can get. I do this kind of career mode myself all the time, and I've picked out seven of my favorite realistic players that eventually could become managers, and they all have real faces on FIFA, so you can do a career mode as them and see how good they would be if they do retire and take up management. You'll be watching my go at doing an Iniesta career mode throughout this video, but I'll be talking about seven different managers throughout, so feel free to skip ahead or watch the entire thing if you want to see how my Iniesta career mode goes. So let's start with Iniesta because we've already mentioned him. He plays in Japan, of course, but what you're going to need to do is move him to a Spanish club because I think that's probably more likely where he will start his career mode with. If you leave him in Japan, all your offers will be in Japan and Asia, which maybe could be fun if that's what you're into, but I would prefer to start in Spain. If you move into somewhere like Barcelona and instantly retire, you'll get offered some good teams. Elche is probably the most realistic, and it's the closest club to where his hometown is. They're eligible if you do start out of Barcelona, so do give this one a go. Almeria is another good, close and fun second division team, which is close to where Iniesta was actually born. Because Iniesta and Xavi were so synonymous playing together in midfield, your goal of your career mode is to try and be more successful than Xavi is at Barcelona. If he wins a trophy, you have to try and win two, and so on and so on. Towards the end of your save, you might even become Spain manager. And of course, Iniesta scored the winning goal in the 2010 World Cup. So why don't you try and win it as manager, just like he did as a player back then? Our second manager is Blazikowski, and he's currently the player and owner at Wisla Krakow. In real life, Krakow have had a really bad season, and they are actually in the relegation zone of the Polish top flight with eight games to go. If you retire as a player and try to manage them and see if you can win their ninth championship, you've got a pretty cool challenge because of course Blazikowski is a fan of Krakow, came through the academy there, played there for a bit before leaving to go to Germany, came back and now owns the club. So being a manager pretty much completes every single role he could possibly ever want to be in. He wouldn't move clubs throughout the career mode because I think Blazikowski would stay at Wisla if he could become manager. And as he was a runner-up in 2013, why don't you see if you can get Blazikowski to finally win the Champions League? See if you can do it with Wisla Krakow. It would be a very long save, but I think it would be a pretty fun one. Gianluigi Buffon, of course, is a legend of the game and probably in the top three goalkeepers of all time. But of course, because of his age, Buffon is still playing while being older than many managers who are currently at top teams. So what you need to do is move Parma to Serie A with Buffon, retire from Parma and see if you can take over as their manager. The goal is to see if you can match your 10 Serie A and one French league titles you got as a player. Feel free to move clubs, but Parma and Juventus are the two realistic options that stand out because Gianluigi Buffon is actually loved at both clubs eventually move to France for the last couple of seasons and show that you can win outside Italy as well. Towards the end of your career, why don't you see if you can also win a World Cup as Buffon did as a player while managing the Italian national team. Michael Bradley's dad, Bob Bradley, had a mixed career as a manager. He won the MLS Cup on two occasions. He took the United States national team to the World Cup in 2010, but he also is known mainly, in England at least, for having an 18% win rate at Swansea City. Why don't you retire Michael Bradley, his son, from Toronto and see if you can take over any MLS team. Try and win the MLS at least three times, but don't forget you've got a little bit of a father-son rivalry if you do ever play against LA Galaxy because that's where Bob Bradley currently is managing. Eventually you'll try and get the national team job and see if you can get further than his dad did by reaching the quarterfinal of the World Cup in one of the two competitions you'll get in your career mode. The best one is 2026, which of course takes place in America, so see if you can get as far as you can in the home competition. The goal is to win as many MLS titles as you can until you get offered the job, and then move to Europe and show that American managers can actually perform outside of the United States. Bonus points if you manage to take over Swansea City and manage to win a trophy. Lucas Podolski is one of those players that's loved at every club he's played for. Cologne are where you're going to eventually be taking over, but in the first season you should be staying at Gornik as player and manager. Podolski is playing here as a promise to his grandmother, so leaving would be unfair on her. 
But as a winner of the second Bundesliga with Köln and the Bundesliga winner with Bayern, you're going to be trying to match this while being the manager of both clubs. Köln are doing good in real life, so you might want to take over a small club first before eventually trying to become manager of Cologne, Bayern Munich, Arsenal maybe, and eventually the German national team, or maybe even the Polish national team, to see if you can manage to win a World Cup as a player and as a manager. Now we're getting onto the less realistic options. Pepe, known for his aggression, wants to make an aggressive team. Why don't you start in Portugal with Pepe and see if you could eventually earn yourself the Real Madrid job. Bring in the aggressive Galacticos. Kimpembe, Ruben Diaz, Lucas Hernandez, Kante. They've all got 90 aggression or more to see if you can make a full team of players with at least 85 aggression. Focus on your youth academy to only hire and train aggressive youths. Do whatever it takes to make sure Real Madrid become the most violent team in Europe. And finally, Ben Foster. People say Ben Foster is only focused on YouTube now instead of goalkeeping, but imagine the series he could make if he retired, started it with a League 2 side and progressed up the league in a real life road to glory. You'll want to make the YouTube series as fun as possible, so why don't you sign lots of big name players and entertaining people, play attacking football and see if you can get a billion subscribers with Ben Foster. It would really be a typical road to glory, but with a backstory that lets you move around clubs. Maybe if you start out as someone who's not got much of a reputation, like a Sutton United or a Harrogate, and you get offered someone slightly bigger in the league, like a Salford City, move to that club. See if you can get loads of high reputation clubs in each league. Maybe go to Sunderland and then go to someone like West Brom or Fulham in the championship. See if you can end up at the biggest names in Europe, somewhere like a Manchester United or a Barcelona. To do this, you'll probably have to move Ben Foster to a League 2 club to be offered a club in League 2. So do this before you start your career mode. Make sure you move him to someone who's got one of the highest stats in the league. So someone like a Salford or a Bradford. As soon as you retire, you should get quite a few offers in that league. So make sure you do and then see if you can get that Road to Glory team either all the way up to the top flight of the Championship and Premier League or maybe move clubs as I mentioned earlier. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas of players you can retire and start your career mode as. It's not actually that popular, I don't see it too often, but when people do do it, it always makes it a bit more immersive and honestly, I like reading career modes where someone has retired as a real player a lot more than them just playing as themselves. I think it's one of the coolest features that people don't really know about in career mode, so make sure you give it a go. Let me know on Discord or in the comments below how your career mode went on, and if you've got any suggestions for other players that you think should be retired, maybe you want to start as Ibrahimovic or Lewandowski, let me know in the comments below. If you can try and justify why you think they'd be a manager, or come up with a challenge even better, because I know people would love to read that, so make sure you post that if you can think of anything like that. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video as I said. See you all very soon for another one. Don't forget to subscribe to see more stuff like this and like the video if you enjoyed anything in it. Thank you and goodbye.